Welcome, one and all, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. <laughs> Folks. <sighs> I don't know about you, but uh, to me, for the, the last, what, five years, it feels like America's been trapped in an absurdist play. And, and not one of the good ones, um, which is none of them. <laughs> no single headline has captured the national zeitgeist of existential dread combined with ridiculous stupulosity-ness. <laughs> Better than this one, Rudy Giuliani has been revealed as a contestant on The Masked Singer. <laughs> That's right, the criminal goon that we know for a fact is being investigated for trying to overthrow our democracy for his idiot emperor was yucking it up on a reality show. There hasn't been anything this shocking since Lee Harvey Oswald made a guest appearance on Gilligan's Island. <laughs> Little buddy. Now, if you're not familiar with the mass Singer, congratulations. <laughs> but let me catch up. Here's how she works. Uh, a bunch of what they call celebrities uh, in costumes, sing for a panel of judges, and each week the losing singer gets unmasked. We've now learned that Rudy was unmasked during last week's taping of the first episode of season seven. The truly shocking revelation. I can't believe the masked singer has had seven seasons. <laughs> when did that happen? And how did that happen? How, God? Rudy's episode has not aired yet, so we don't know much beyond that. Fox isn't revealing what his swan song was <laughs> or which animal costume Rudy wore, though it was safe to assume he was a jackass. <laughs> lot of people are upset. Lot, lot of people are mad about this, naturally. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are upset, but keep in mind, it may not be the producer's fault. It's possible that Rudy just wandered onto the Fox lot and passed out in a costume. <laughs> Where am I? Start spreading the news. That's what he just says. He just says he sings that when he wakes up. Now, here's the thing. I'm in TV. We're all in TV. We know how this works. I'm sure Fox is going to get huge ratings for this. But reportedly, the Rudy reveal did not go over so well in the room when he took off his mask. Judges Ken Jong and Robin Thicke quickly left the stage in protest. <laughs> yes. Yes. They left in protest, John. They wanted to get out. Or, or they left in terror. I mean, one of the most, <laughs> one of the most chilling phrases in the English language is "surprise, it's Rudy Giuliani." <laughs> Just ask the crew of Borat. Nobody. <laughs> nobody wants to see him whip out his head. Okay. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you. <laughs> Nothing? Nothing? Yeah, okay. you can give me. Okay, let's lighten things up a little bit. In plague news, COVID <laughs> cases are falling across the country and vaccines are holding up. In fact, according to new CDC data, boosted Americans are 97 times less likely to die of COVID than the unvaccinated. <laughs> Yeah. The boost. The boosted. Agree. And somehow, and somehow, my friend, uh -huh. somehow that's still not enough to convince some folks to get their shots. Imagine hearing you're 97 times more likely to survive bungee jumping if you use a rope <laughs> instead of just tying off your junk. I'm going, hell no, staple my ding dong to the bridge. I got natural immunity from gravity. <laughs> Yee <-haw! Woo! laughs> and soon, getting immunized might even be easier because scientists are developing nasal vaccines. The medicine goes right up your nose. Turns out, Don Jr. was just trying to fight COVID this whole <laughs> time. Hey, oh you wanna? Oh, you wanna join me in the bathroom for a quick bump of immunity? <sighs> uh, okay, okay. Ooh. Can't feel my eyeballs. Okay. <laughs> the nasal vaccine may be even more effective, and getting it looks so dignified. <laughs> Afterwards, they just jam a lollipop right up there. 
There, little girl, hope you like butterscotch. Oh, my. In other COVID news, uh, we've learned that last year, a team of scientists searching for the coronavirus in New York City's wastewater spotted something strange in their samples. Can I guess? Mob fingers, Times Square Elmo teeth, all the rock hats that didn't make the cut. <laughs> no? Well, turns out, what they actually found was a unique constellation of COVID mutations that had never been reported before in human patients the scientists are calling cryptic lineages. Oh, yeah. I mean, obviously, I've heard that cryptic lineages in the New York water is what makes the bagel so good. <laughs> you, can't get, you can't get that in any other city. There's, uh, there's been a lot of COVID misinformation out there lately, and there's starting to be some karmic retribution for the people spreading it. Take Facebook. Today, on Wall Street, your mom's friend's online hangout lost 26% of its value, or $230 billion, which is the biggest one-day market value drop ever for a U.S. company. Why the drop? Well, financial analysts say it's because you didn't click on the photo of your cousin's babysitter's wedding. <laughs> they had a donut wall and a glazing station, but that wasn't good enough for you. <laughs> it was an especially rough day for Facebook CEO and robot failing to execute the smile protocol. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook's stock freefall caused Zuckerberg's wealth to plunge by $31 billion. <laughs> How was your day, honey? Well, a couple of hiccups. I lost my umbrella, my shoelace broke, and I personally lost the GDP of Latvia. <laughs> More gold shavings in your Chablis? <laughs> Social media has been a hotbed of anti-science conspiracy theories, and America is not the only country loaded with anti-vax holes. Right now... <laughs> Canada... Right now, Canada's capital, Ottawa, is being besieged by a group of anti-do-anything-about-COVID truckers called the Freedom Convoy. Forget Spotify. Canadian truckers are spreading COVID misinformation on CB radio. Uh, breaker, breaker, one, nine, what's your 20? I'm eight miles outside the chicken coop looking for some go-go juice. But Bill Gates already knows that. Back it down. Smokey's on the flip-flop with his ears on and balls large. Come on back, teddy bear. <laughs> I got some seat covers going by a bubblegum machine. You got your smoke detector on? <laughs> Protesters have a lot in common with their neighbors to the south, the deep south, because for some reason that no one will ever be able to explain, many of them are holding Confederate flags. I didn't know you could secede from a country you weren't a part of. <laughs> Though who could forget Canada's great Civil War hero, Stonewall Beaver. These flags of hatred aren't the only ugly part of this protest. Canadian authorities say urine stains were seen on snow covering the National War Memorial, and demonstrators were also seen dancing on the tomb of the unknown soldier. That is reprehensible. Those people should be rounded up and put on the mass singer. Because <laughs> this, this is a national embarrassment. Uh, national embarrassment. Put them on a mask. I just want to say to Canada, thank you. I'm so glad we're not the only ones anymore. In fact, Us Weekly just featured the two countries in Who Disgraced It Best? <laughs> and is this... I'm being told it's still us. Because <laughs> according to officials, there is a significant element from the U.S. involved in the self-described freedom convoy in Canada. Oh. Well, on behalf of all Americans, Canada, let me just say... Sorry. Here in the States. <laughs> here in the States. Here in the States. <laughs> Back here in the States, in addition to anger about COVID, there's also anger about shortages. Like this weekend outside Philadelphia, when a massive brawl broke out at a Golden Corral buffet <laughs> with a mob of patrons hurling punches and chairs. Now, if you don't know uh, Golden Corral, it's where you take your date when they're not worth quite spending sizzler money. <laughs> So, why would this normally peaceful meat trough become a place for a violent beef? A lack of beef. Officers are still looking into what caused the argument. From what I heard, it was over steak. Um, 
Apparently somebody cut in line. His friend heard the same details. There was a shortage of steak. I am loving this new season of Mayor of East Town. <laughs> let's check out, let's all, let's check out some footage from the fight. <laughs> and I am being assured that this is somehow different from a normal night at Golden Corral. <laughs> Did you? It's okay, it's gotta, okay. Did you see that baby chair fly? Look at this. That guy's <laughs> chucking it. Don't worry, the child, the child landed safely in a tray of nanner pudding. We got a great show for you tonight. My guest is the one, the only, Dua Lipa. Before we come back, first drafts of Valentine's Day cards with my Valentine.